the Crew 2 gave players a massive open world map of the United States to race through. Here players could endlessly drive and reach big destination map locations, so obviously players wouldn't drive to every road from coast to coast, but you would get to move from one area of the map to another seamlessly. For instance, players could drive to New York City, Las Vegas, and Detroit just to name a few areas between long stretches of free roaming. Similar to other games on this list, The Crew 2 is a racing game along with an open world free roam title as well. You could find some off-road terrains to drive around in, but it's also worth noting that this is not strictly a car vehicle based title. Instead, players could switch between a car, a speedboat, and plane on the fly. Mudrunner puts players into a fictional Russian environment as you attempt to deliver different cargo loads within the tough, unpaved, and muddy landscapes. It sounds simple on paper, take some logs, deliver it to the destination, all while using these massive old Soviet Union vehicles. However, don't let the terrain fool you, these muddy grounds are full of hills, dangerous cliffs, and thick woods. Players are going to get stuck and it's then a challenge to figure out just how to get around the world with the cargo load. The slightest oversight could mean burning through fuel or losing your cargo load, so the name of the game here is taking things slow and don't misjudge the slightest sketchy looking hills or depressions on the ground. If you enjoy this game then I would highly suggest looking at SnowRunner as it continues with this gameplay but enhances it with the number of environments, vehicles, upgrades, and missions. After the success of Mudrunner, the development team went on to bring out another installment with SnowRunner. This game acts very much the same as its predecessor, in which players are tasked with driving smartly in some rough terrains. Speaking of terrains, there is a bit more of a variety here with snowy tundras, deeply forested areas, or muddy bogs, there are plenty of trails to get stuck in, lose cargo, or completely flip over a vehicle. Meanwhile, those that are successful in their different mission objectives would have carefully plotted out their routes and brought a rig that was capable of the job. I think most would agree that this is the kind of game where you can connect with friends online and attempt to get through some jobs, only to get hilariously stuck and needing assistance to get back on the stable ground. Otherwise, players can throw this game on and chill out with some music or their favorite podcast. Forza is a top-rated racing franchise, but it can be a bit too simulation-based for some players. Fortunately, their Forza Horizon series offers a more relaxed but still enjoyable racing game for fans. These games take place around different regions in the world, and with the latest installment, Forza Horizon 5, we're tossed into a Mexico-inspired map. It's a massive world to race around in, which features some unique environments. From small cities, ruins to lush jungles, there's a ton of focus centered around exploration. But of course, what matters here is the racing, and it's just as tight and thrilling as the previous release. If you played the past installment, then you know what to expect here. There's a ton of different vehicles to pick through in events, so you're constantly switching up the vehicle you're driving in at any given moment depending on the race you're actively going through. Likewise, there's the fact that you're also dealing with some new weather conditions to be mindful of, such as dust and tropical storms. There is plenty of exploration and courses based around the rough and tough terrain for those who want to enjoy some off-roading. Additionally, there are some vehicles, in particular, that might do well with off-roading ventures. Whether it's a Jeep Trailcat to a Ford Bronco, you can easily make your way through the mud and rubble.
Brickfest is a bit different on this list as it's a derby style racing game. Created by the same development team behind the popular Flat Out franchise, Wreckfest was a game developed with two modes in mind. The first being a standard racing game, where players are barreling through the tracks in hopes of coming out in first place. Meanwhile, there is a demolition derby game mode that has players bashing their vehicles against each other in hopes of knocking them out of the game. With that said, it's a single-player game, so you'll be facing against AI, meanwhile there's DLC available to give players a bit more vehicles and skins. World Rally Championship, or better known as WRC, has a lengthy history. This franchise started in 2001, and it's still thriving today. At the moment, the latest release is WRC 10, but you'll find that there's a bit more than a bump up in visuals. Instead, the developers also hope you notice some other upgrades. The development team this time around tried to put more focus on aerodynamic force and braking across different terrains. But outside of trying to get the physics and feel of the car more accurate, the installment has added four new 2021 rallies. Players will race around Estonia, Croatia, Spain, and Belgium. You'll also find that to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the championship, and there is a bit more content here. This installment will also bring in some historical rallies and legendary vehicles from companies like Alpine, Ford, Subaru, and Audi. To right four and right four. Left five tightens, hard brake for hairpin right at junction. And left three and right three long tightens. Off-road racing fans have likely already dived into Dirt Rally. It's a popular series. Some of those titles are aimed at more serious and simulated kinds of off-road racing, while others are more relaxed or arcade-like. Dirt Rally 2.0 is a simulated racing game that is made for those that want a more realistic gameplay experience. You'll still have a ton of different rally cars and intense courses, but you'll likely find a bit of a learning curve when racing. Not to mention, there are some areas in which you'll manage your team and vehicles. Again, it's not a title that I would recommend if you're just a casual racing fan in this series, but for those die-hard off-road racing enthusiasts, this game may be easy to sink quite a few hours into. mentioned in this list that the Dirt series has both arcade and simulation-based racing games. While Dirt Rally 2.0 is one of the latest simulated focus titles, Dirt 5 gives players a thrilling and over-the-top off-road arcade game. Here it's less focused on going through the races with precision driving and instead offers more relaxed control systems. There are big maps with rough terrains, buggies, rally cars, and even a setting that allows players to craft their unique playground to race around in full of ramps, paved turns, and loops. This is the kind of off-road arcade experience that's easy to get into whether you're after the more wacky course playgrounds or more extremely tough off-road courses. Dakar Desert Rally might pique your interest because this is based on an annual rally raid that the Amari Sport Organization organizes. Dakar Desert Rally offers an off-road rally racing experience where you're speeding across the terrain in various licensed vehicles. This includes cars, trucks, motorcycles, quads and SSVs. You're also getting over 30 tracks used in the past few Dakar Rally races. 
Likewise, within these tracks, you'll get a range of different weather conditions to race through, whether it's a bright sunny day, a downpour of rain, or sliding through the snow. Stay on track. Pure Rock Crawling was released back in 2018 and it remains an early access title today. It's exactly what the name suggests. The game is based around rock crawling which means driving up big mountain terrains as you attempt to go slowly and maneuver around big boulders and rocky mountainsides, all while avoiding any flips. It might not be for everyone, but those that enjoy the thrill of a rocky trail climb or driving around on forest hills may want to give this game a shot. However, as I mentioned, this is an early access title, so you may see changes to the gameplay as development continues to work on the project.